Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. Now today is effectively day 15 of my self-isolation lockdown after getting off the ship. So this is actually the first day basically of me being able to go out and leave the house and go for a walk, get in the car, do everything I want to do. Um, basically other than actually staying home and not doing things according to what the government's telling us to do. So uh, today, this is going to be a little bit of a short video, but I'm going to actually just walk to the beach and prove to you, well not prove to you, but let you know how far it is to get to the beach. This flies this morning. Um, yeah, so basically I've just left the house. Now if you have watched my previous videos, you'll know that I'm basically at home. Uh, I'm not actually living in a house that is my house. I'm renting a house in a nearby suburb to where I normally live. This is actually called Rockingham. And we're going to walk to the beach. Now, the thing was, before coming here, I didn't realize where the place was. Uh, when I got to know the address, I figured out we're only 12 or 14 minutes walk to the beach. So I've literally walked two streets. I've got to walk exactly two more streets. I'm just looking forward at the street I'm walking down so I remember where we are and we'll be at the beach. Now, uh, I know roughly the area, but I'm not exactly sure of all the back streets and shortcuts, so I'm gonna walk the normal way to get there for now. Maybe in another video I'll go a different direction, I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna walk to the beach and check it out. Now, it may not be the most exciting video, this is more like a vlog. It's of course not about cruise ships, I'm sorry, but if you are following my channel, you'll know that I'm basically just letting you know what's going on, my day-to-day -day routine, what's happening. And some people have asked me to show where I live and what it's like. And yeah, this is a fancy house. It's got its own big wheel out the front or a cog. I don't know what they call that. But these guys have got a gate. Kind of gated. Yeah, this has got electric gates. This is fancy. Most uh, houses, especially where I am here, don't have any kind of uh, gates or fences or walls around the houses. It's all basically open style living. Everybody doesn't need that in Australia really. I guess some people do, some people don't. So we're going to turn the corner here and we're going to get a little bit closer to the beach. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm on the last little road now towards the beach and there is a sign here which is kind of neat because these uh, brownish looking signs are basically like tourist attraction signs and they have them everywhere but you generally don't know where the place is. You just have a sign which the government's put up years ago and it tells you to go to Penguin Island. Now, we do actually have an island just off the coast here called Penguin Island. And actually right next to it is HMAS Sterling, which is actually known as Garden Island. Now, Garden Island is actually a Navy base, uh, which is kind of basically off limits to anybody that doesn't work there or maybe that has business over there. But Penguin Island, you can actually go over on a small little boat. It's only about a mile or so off the shore. And even at low tide, you can walk over there. But uh, there is actually... Uh, penguins over there, but they're like fairy penguins. They're small penguins. But you can go over there and see sea lions and different bird life and things like that. So we're going to walk through this sign and we're going to cross over and we're going to head to the beach. You can just see it off in the distance uh, across the road here. Now this is actually a little bit of a uh, beach area and they've just done a whole lot of remodeling here in the last uh, two, I guess, year and a half, two years. And now you'd actually not even know anything was going on, but a lot of this area is closed off before, well, it was been done. And now it's open and it's all good. So let's walk over there. Now, just before I get down to the beach here, there's actually a really big sign right uh, opposite the beach area. It says, uh, sun, sand, social distance, or the beach closes. Now, the actual government basically hasn't put a, a law in place to close the beaches. They're just heavily suggesting that you keep a social distance, which is no more than one and a half meters apart or about four and a half or five feet, depending on what distance you're measuring. But uh, this is actually, uh, what time are we at right now? It's just on 10 o'clock and it's not awfully busy today. Now these clouds are looking a little bit ominous too, like we might end up with a bit of rain at some point today. Now yesterday it reached 39.5 Celsius, which is just about 100 and 105 Fahrenheit. So typically after a warm day in Perth, we always get a couple of overcast days. 
Uh, we'll get a few days of hot in a row and a few days of overcast in a row. And here we are right down by the beach edge. This grass has all just been added recently. And it's really cool. Uh, so there's basically grass area, then there's beach area. And here we are. How uh, cool. Yeah, so yesterday was basically the hottest April day on record in Western Australia in the history of temperature record keeping, I guess. And today it's basically overcast. It looks like it might rain later on. Uh, I don't know, these clouds might just blow over, I wonder. I did ever have this great plan of coming for a swim, but I don't think uh, I will now, looking at this. Uh, but there's a few people around. I'll just swing back around here to this grassed area. And see all these white things you can see are all the uh, seagull feathers on the grass. So this uh, it's plenty of wear and tear over here. And there's a few very nice cafes right here. And upstairs above is actually some apartments that you can rent. Some people live in them, but they're Airbnbs as well. So yeah, this is Rockingham Beach. Now I've not walked, I would say, 12 minutes from the house. And here we are. Let's do one last pan around and then we'll have another walk a little bit further along. So I'll just point out here, these are all the uh, beachfront cafes and normally today, Sunday, Saturday and the weekends, this is Easter weekend as well, this place would be absolutely packed and there'd be tables and chairs right here on the this boardwalk area and because of all the social distancing rules they can't allow dine-in people. I was going to say dine-in passengers. Uh, nobody can actually do dine-in. It all has to be takeaway. So everybody's a little bit uh, limited. Now what they've done is they put takeaway menus on the signs so you can basically grab takeaway, no worries. And then if you have a look over this side, these really cool tables and chairs end up being where everybody's basically sitting. Check that out. Now if you look off in the distance there, that's actually Garden Island that I just mentioned a little bit earlier. So that's actually a military uh, facility which is operated by the Australian government. And you have no, pop no way to get over there at all. You have to basically uh, have to work over there or have some sort of business. And you can just see the road off in the distance. There's a basically like a bridge uh, that links the land and the, the island. And um, a lot of the Australian uh, Navy ships and submarines that are based over on the west coast of Australia are all based over on Garden Island. A little bit hard to spot from here, but you can just see a frigate parked. Oh, can I get my finger right over here if you can see that? And this is one of the fishing jetties right here at Rockingham Beach as well, which is uh, where we're just sort of generally walking around. There's a couple of people fishing. But it's pretty quiet. I don't know, uh, today, I guess the whole social distancing people are staying home. Uh, not as many people are definitely out and about, especially today where I would expect more, more, more people. But um, there's quite a few people with boats parked up over here. And people probably are doing a, a little bit of a staycation on their boats. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a guy there on a stand-up paddleboard. They're called SUPS, S-U-P, Stand Up Paddleboard. So this is a cool spot here to come fishing and bring kids down. And let's take a little bit of a spin around so we can check out the beach. Look at these clouds. It's going to make a great video, these clouds alone, I think. Um, yeah, now, this is not normally a busy beach anyway, and it's very much family friendly. It's shallow water. I wonder if you can see the fish in the water here. It's these small little fish kind of all over the place in the water here. But you can see these apartments. Now those apartments just there are the ones we can see from the front garden of the house. That's kind of interesting that you can see them from the house and then here we are right down here. So just coming down to the jetty here, it's really uh, a little bit strange because obviously I wasn't home for the last uh, almost six months. Uh, and actually the last time I walked down here was when my wife uh, and I were here, we came for a walk down in the evening, I think the day or so before we, before she flew back to Moscow and then I flew back to work, so it's a little bit weird to have been down here on my own and then not with Jen, so uh, I just thought I'd add that to the video. Um, but it's such a nice spot to come down to uh, and the fact that I can just walk here from the house, it's just so easy. 
Uh, actually, quite often I'd actually drive down here from where I was living, where my parents were, which is about a 15 minute drive or so. It's not that far, really. Uh, there's quite a few different beaches, the whole coastline where I am here. So this is Rockingham Beach. Uh, and then if we look sort of just behind me, it ends up turning into Safety Bay Beach. And of course, all those boats parked up because it's a safety bay, a safe bay. <laughs> so a little bit different, but uh, yeah. So in case you're wondering uh, where all those parrots are in the middle of the day uh, and right on cue they're all saying hello at the same time. These are white crested cockatoos and they're just going crazy. <laughs> there is uh, hundreds of them here. One guy's just looking at me over here. It's a bit hard to spot this one guy over here but uh, and the other guys are all chirping away <laughs> wow so these are all the guys that are in the morning waking me up then they come down to the beach for the afternoon for lunch and then they come back later on tonight now this is actually the same pine trees uh, these are eucalyptus trees right here native Australian trees and these are Norfolk pines which is the same as the tree right outside my house. And this is the Rockingham Beach Park, right here by the beach. Uh, wow, it's noisy from these parrots. It's kind of neat though. And there's a kids play area. Pretty much no kids at the play area, which would normally be busy. I'm now, I'm pretty sure they closed the play areas and parks, but they didn't really close them off. But I'm pretty sure everybody's sort of sticking to the don't use Kind of uh, idea. There's a lot of people walking on the foreshore though, going up and down, bikes, just walking. So if we look off in the distance here we can actually see the uh, industrial area which is kind of the next major beach area. It's called Quinana Beach and you can actually see this big huge blue terminal. That's actually a grain terminal where they import and export grain uh, to pretty much overseas, I would imagine. I don't know where, but... Um, and then you can just see some chimneys off in the distance. Now check out the clouds there, these dark clouds. Uh, you can see there's uh, basically the light or heavy industrial area there, there as well, which is Quinana. And then we can see a building off in the very distance. That's actually where they build a lot of uh, ferries and catamarans. That's called Henderson. And then way off in the distance, we can't really see it all today because it's a little bit cloudy, is actually the port of Fremantle where the cruise ships would come into. Now my plan is to try to get down there and actually make a video of the one ship that's still in port if it's still there. And of course, Highlight like Cruise Ships, uh, the YouTube channel, it's about cruise ships. So I've got to try and get a cruise ship into a video somehow. Um, but yeah, now right where I'm standing here, there's this huge... Uh, sphere ball which is water activated I guess you'd call it we can change the direction of it uh, check this out so yeah a lot of kids and families come down here it's not probably very well attracted to everybody wanting to kind of do selfies and Instagrams and things like that but it's a beautiful spot let me tell you it's kind of one of the secrets of the WA coastline pretty much only locals tend to know about and everybody else doesn't or doesn't want to come down here and check it out and oh it's too far you know so but it's worth a drive if you live in the area okay everybody I hope you like the walk around of Rockingham Beach and basically my local area uh, of course it's not uh, <laughs> probably overly exciting 
but I'm sure people who are following the channel uh, appreciate seeing something different and something a little bit uh, not about cruise ships, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm just heading home and right on cue it's starting just to sprinkle with the rain. Uh, I'm pretty much walking the same road on the way back. It just looks like I've just recorded this in both directions, but uh, I stopped for a drink at a local cafe. I uh, didn't stay very long, but it's kind of very strange down at the beach because normally you see people going down there for a reason, like they're going to go for breakfast, they're going to go to hang out at the beach. It's like a lot of people are kind of kind of looking around what other people are doing and wondering, are everybody, is everybody staying home? Is everyone going out? And everyone's just talking about what's happening, you know what I mean? It's probably this social, dis social distancing thing. Um, and it's kind of interesting that uh, everyone's sort of looking at everybody else at what's going on and not just dealing with their own things happening, you know, which that makes sense. Yeah, I'm almost home. So I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel, of course, we're not on a cruise ship, but I'm doing some vlogging here in Perth, Australia. And right now we're in Rockingham. I mentioned it in the other video, they sometimes call it Swinging Pig, but Rockingham is the name and they, that's the beach we were at just now, Rockingham Beach and Rockingham Foreshore. And it was kind of cool to check that out, I think. It wasn't overly busy. Oh, there's a car just coming around the corner. <laughs> and somebody's mowing their lawn. Yeah, it's sort of Sunday things to do, right? You know what's kind of cool is uh, in this suburb, there's lots of like palm trees. Which I'm just about to walk under one as well. And it's kind of interesting the different uh, fauna and flora and different trees and plants in the area because it's not, let's say, the common uh, sort of uh, native Australian trees here. So there's these kind of Norfolk pines and then you'll see the gum trees, eucalyptus trees, and then you'll see like a palm tree. Like you see right behind me, big huge one. So yeah, I'm about to get to the street where I live and I'm gonna sign off from here everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck you're watching, maybe watch some of the other videos in the channel and maybe we'll figure out what's going on with I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, of course. And while I'm here in Australia, I'm not on the ships, just looking across the street. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you later, post a comment, share it to all your friends, and catch you later. Bye!